Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about my blocks and how to incorporate a my block into your into orbit mission or any mission if you want to, you know, go that far. So here is what my teams have been realizing and you might be realizing the same thing. When you're doing your missions in this year's into orbit, some of you might have noticed, hey, we seem to do or follow the same path for the same missions. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, starting in base here, our teams have noticed we do a lot of forwards to get to about this habitation hub, do a turn, and we end up going right about there. So where we end up doing a, a mission from there is you can do the food production, you can come over here and do the observatory, you can go over towards the satellite or the lander touchdown area. So there's many different missions you can do from this exact spot. So my teams are like, ah, oh, Mr. You know, we got to do these blocks over again and over again. And it would be nice if they just had a my block to put in their program. And then after they get to this point, do whatever else they need to. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a my block to get to this point and then uh, show you how you would incorporate that into a different program to get a mission done. So let's go to it. Okay, everybody, I am on my laptop and let me just go ahead and show you how easy this can be. So all I'm going to do is do three blocks uh, to get to that point on the board that I showed you. So this first one is just going to be a move tank. You guys know that I like to drop it to 30. Uh, for motor speed just to show you uh, you know have the robot go slow enough so you can see what it's doing but you're right I would never do that in a competition I would always bump that up uh, that first uh, straightaway is going to be 1571 degrees I don't know how you guys do your turns but I just do a single motor turn for turns um, that's going to be a C motor turn I'll drop that down to 30 and the degrees for that turn was 150 degrees. And then that last straightaway to get to that uh, line follow T uh, was 1,043 degrees. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and download this to the robot, show you how that looks like on the board, and then I'll come back and show you how to make this on my block and put it into a different program. So let's go to that. Okay, everybody, so I've downloaded that three block program to this robot, and let me just go ahead and show you what that does. So there's that straightaway I was talking about. There's the one motor block turn, and then there's that forward. So that's perfect. That's the perfect spot I wanna be. I'm gonna make that my my block and you can see how I can now incorporate that into a food production mission. I can turn this way for the observatory. So today I'm going to go ahead and do that for the observatory. So let's go back to my computer and let me show you how to make that a my block. Okay, everybody, I'm back on my laptop and here were those three blocks that you just saw demonstrated by the robot. So let me go ahead and show you how to make it a my block now. So we're going to go ahead and click and drag and highlight all three of these blocks you should see the uh, turquoise outline of them and then we're going to come up here to tools and we're going to come up here to my block builder you will see this my block builder menu come up and there's a place to name it so we're going to call it middle mission and then there's a place for you to describe it so um Here's what we'll put. We'll put uh, my block to get robot to the middle of the board. So that's going to help me with all kinds of other missions, but today it's just going to be the observatory. So when we're done here, and you can actually click an icon, but we'll just leave it like that. And we'll click finish. So there is the my block right now, which was made up of those three. So now what I can do is add whatever I want to this my block. But you're probably going, well, how can I use this for other missions? 
So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. Um, I have my my block right here. If I come up to this wrench right here, what I'm going to do is I need to make sure I come to this tab that says my blocks, and that's where I had previously had a middle mission, um, and that's the one that I want now. So here's what I'll do: I will uh, click this, and down here it says export. So what I what I won't be able to do is I won't be able to use this my block in any other program unless I ex or import it into that program. So first I need to export it. So I'm going to click here and I will call it, um, I'll just call it middle and I'll send it to my desktop, hit save. So let me go ahead and show you now how that's going to look. Um, if I go to a separate program, if you notice, there's no my blocks here because I need to import it from my desktop. So if I go back to the wrench, go to my blocks and click import, I'm just going to go ahead and find that. There it is. There's my middle. And there it is right here. So this should now be um, back into my program. So if I go to my project, there is the my block right there. So if I pull this up now, that is going to be um, that's going to be those those three blocks that I have. Now I can do the observatory mission. So let me go ahead and pull up what we're going to do for that. So for the observatory, you, you notice that I'm going to have to do a, a right turn. And that's going to be with my B motor. I'm going to set that back to 30. Let's go to degrees. And it was 279 degrees. And then you guys know I'm going to have to go forward to push that observatory arm. I wouldn't copy this uh, degree for degree because your robot might be different. So be careful on that one. Um, that was end that ended up being 792. So here's what I'm going to do. Again, this my block has me going forward, doing a left turn, and getting to the middle of the board. And this will help me finish off the observatory. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, and then I'll take you back to the board to show you how it looks. So I'll meet you there. All right, everybody, I'm back at the board. I just downloaded the program that had the my block plus those two extra blocks, the turn and then the forward to get the observatory points. So let's go ahead and see this in action and then I'll, I'll talk you through it. So there's the forward of the my block, the turn and the, then the forward. Here are the extra two, the turn and the forward for the observatory. Hey, that's pretty good. So that is uh, an example of how you can use the my block to continue to do other missions. Remember, I have that my block on my desktop. So if we were going to do the food production, I would just import that my block into a new program and go a different direction for the lander touchdown, a satellite uh, to get these done. So those are just blocks I don't have to keep redoing. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you can incorporate that for those of you that have these missions that keep using the same blocks over and over again to get to the same part of the board. Now you can hopefully save yourself some time and not have to keep reduplicating uh, those blocks. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still doing fabulous with your FLL teams. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zega Robotics. I'm out.